Well, a handful of tech companies increasingly dominate the daily lives of Americans. What could go wrong? Whether you're shopping, socializing, working, or learning, odds are you'll be spending an awful lot of time using Amazon, Facebook, Google, and a couple of others. Can we count on the goodwill of these companies? That's a rhetorical question. Dennis Prager operates Prager University, which creates videos online to educate people. He's recently sued Google and its subsidiary YouTube. He says they've deliber deliberately restricted his videos, so they have less reach and are ineligible for ad revenue. Dennis Prager joins us tonight. Dennis, that's a heavy-duty charge. Um, and clearly, I don't think you would have filed a lawsuit without evidence to support it. Tell us what you know, why they did this <laughs> to you. They have uh, placed on their restricted list. That means that it can't be viewed in libraries, in schools, or any home that filters out pornography, for example. Cannot be seen in any of those places. Our videos are as, as innocent as exists on the internet. Four Pulitzer Prize winners, professors from Stanford, MIT, Harvard, Yale. I mean, it is about as normative con and conservative, but we don't only have conservatives. Alan Dershowitz has given a number of videos, and by the way, his video was placed on the restricted list as well. Uh, oh, there we have, we, when you understand which ones, for example, uh, for example, I gave a video, and I only give 15% of the uh, 260 or so videos that are there, and they're all five minutes long. We have 500 million views this year, so it's rather large. This is a big deal, this suit. And I have a video, for example, on the Ten Commandments. So I have one five-minute video per commandment. The one that I have on Thou Shalt Not Murder, How's that? That has been placed on the restricted list. Uh, we have a video, America That's Must demented. Lead. So do liberals have a video, America Must Lead, but our America Must Lead, and I believe it was given by Brett Stephens, not exactly a flaming conservative, even that was, uh, was placed on the restricted list. It's all entirely due to our content and being conservative. And uh, they, well, so uh, when, they need when, to be called uh, on this. Well, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. What you've said, and I believe you because I know you and I know that you're a, a, a religious and moral man um, and you're smart. So you bring this argument to them, to Google and its subsidiary YouTube, and you say, why are you doing this to me? Right. What was their response? Inappropriate for children. <laughs> well, but did, I mean, the, the, I, did there they is, give there examples? There is no answer. No, 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 that's it. That's the, they have a stock phrase, but we actually finally got it from a human, not from some, from automatic, some automatic response. And they still said inappropriate, but we, we still don't understand why. We have a Victor Davis Hanson, yes. whom I'm sure you know. He's Frequent a, a wonderful, wonderful human being. Yes. He, gives a, he gives a five minute course on the history of the Korean War. That if America looks good, it's, sen it's uh, not sen well, censored is probably an appropriate word. It's restricted. If Israel looks good, it's restricted. Uh, uh, it, it's, it, it's almost, it's almost uh, uh, predictable what they would uh, restrict. And, and it's, the point is this, that uh, they should say, look, we are liberal or left-wing organizations. We don't want to give a forum for others. Yeah. And then I have, I have no issue. Well, but they, that, have they too, say but, that they, they are they a have public too much power forum over our information. And that, that's not honest.